Will you be around this summer? I think I've got a summer job caddying, so no more camp, thank God. I'll be visiting my father in California. I haven't seen him in four years. He has a new wife, and I have two half-sisters now. It's like going to find a whole new family. Oh, I hope, I hope. Do you like California? Write me about California. How's your second family? Did you get my letters? I checked with your mother and I had the correct address. How come you haven't answered me all summer? Back at school now. I hope everything's okay with you. Did you get my letters up to California? Or did you have a wicked stepmother who confiscated them all? I don't want to talk about California. Ever. For a while, I thought I had two families, but now I know I really don't have any. You're very lucky, Andy. You don't know it, but you are. But maybe I'm lucky, too, in another way. I was talking to Mrs. Wadsworth, who comes in from Hartford to teach us art. She says I have a real talent, both in drawing and in painting, and she's going to try me out with pottery as well. She says some afternoon she's going to take me just by myself to her studio in Hartford, and we'll do life drawings of her lover in just a jock strap. <laughs> Don't laugh. She says art and sex are sort of the same thing. Dear Melissa, I have four questions, so please concentrate. One, will you come up to the midwinter dance? Two, if so, can you arrive on the 1122 Friday night train? Three, does the rector's wife have to write your headmistress telling her where you will be staying? And four, does the rector's wife also have to write to your mother? The answer is yes, except for my mother, who won't care. I have to tell you this right off the bat. I'm really goddamn mad at you. I invite you up here for the only dance my class has been able to go to since we got here. I meet you at the train, and I buy you a vanilla milkshake, and I bring you into the school in a taxi. I score two goals for you during the hockey game the next afternoon. I buy you the $8 gardenia corsage. I make sure your dance card is filled with the most regular guys in the school. And then what happens? I now hear you sneaked off with Bob Bartram during the Vienna Waltz. <laughs> and necked with him in the coat room. I heard that from two guys, and then Bob himself brought it up yesterday at breakfast. He says he French kissed you and touched both your breasts. <laughs> I tried to punch him, but Mr. Enbody restrained me. I'm really sore, Melissa. I consider this a betrayal of everything I hold near and dear. <coughs> Particularly since you would hardly even let me kiss you goodnight after we had cocoa at the rector's. And you know what I'm talking about, too. So don't expect any more letters from me, or any telephone calls either during spring vacation. Sincerely yours. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am. I hate that Bob Bartram. I hated him even when I necked with him. I know you won't believe that, but it's true. You can be attracted to someone you hate. Well, maybe you can, but I can. So all right, I necked with him, but he never touched my chest, and if he says he did, he should be strung up by his testicles. <laughs> you tell him that for me at breakfast. But anyway, I got carried away, Andy, and I'm a stupid bitch, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt so guilty about it that I didn't want to kiss you after the cocoa. And besides, Andy, um, how do I say this? With you, it's different. <coughs> Visit my grandmother, Yawn. 
I'm a whiz at backgammon and gin rummy. I hear you took Rex from the South to see Covatus and sat in the loge and put your arm around her and smoked. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> Back at school, but not for long, that's for sure. Caught nipping gin in the woods with Bubbles Harriman. Have to pack my trunk by tonight and be out by tomorrow. Mummy's frantically pulling strings all over the eastern seaboard for another school. Mrs. Wadsworth, my art teacher, thinks I should chuck it all and go to Italy and study art. What do you think? Oh, please write, Andy. Please. I need your advice. Or are you too busy thinking about Gretchen LaSalle's? To answer your question about Italy, I think you're too young to go. <laughs> my mother said she had a roommate once who went to Italy in the summer. The Italians pinched her on the rear end all the time. <laughs> Mother says she became thoroughly overstimulated. <laughs> so I think you should go to another school, graduate, go to college, and maybe after that, when you're more mature, you could go to Italy. That's my advice for what it's worth, which is probably not much the way things are going between you and me.